radio and microwaves and wireless communication. Nowadays, conversations, data, and even music can be transmitted through air over millions of kilometers because of radio waves. Wireless communication has become possible through transmission and reception of these radio waves. Radio waves have the longest wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum, which is compared to the length of a football field. They are produced by making electrons vibrate in an antenna and commonly used in radio and television communication. Radio waves have a very wide range of wavelengths. The whole region of the radio wave is divided into smaller regions or wave bands. Each wave band is allocated by law to a specific radio service. The wavelengths and frequencies of the different wave bands and their uses are shown in the table. Medium and high frequency waves are used for broadcasting by local radio stations, while high and ultra high frequencies are used in TV broadcasting. Super high frequencies are used in satellite communication. In a radio station, sound is converted by a microphone into patterns of electric current variations called audio frequency or AF signals. High frequency radio waves called radio frequency carriers can be modulated to match the electronic signal. In amplitude modulation or AM, the amplitude of the radio waves changes to match that of the AF signal. This is used in standard broadcasting because it can be sent over long distances. Very high frequency waves provide a higher quality broadcasting including stereo sound. In this process, instead of the amplitude of the RF carrier, it is the frequency of the waves that changes to match that of the signal. This is called frequency modulation or FM. When the radio wave is received by the antenna of a radio or television, the pattern is converted back to its original form. The sound portions of most television broadcasts are carried as AM waves while the picture portions are carried as FM waves. They are used to transmit sound and picture information over long distances. Low frequency waves are suitable for communication over great distance, but the curvature of the earth limits the range to about 80 kilometers. To extend the range, a repeater is used. The repeater receives the signal and retransmits it to the receiving station. High frequency waves can be reflected by the ionosphere. This enables the waves to be transmitted over great distances. Frequency is an important characteristic of radio wave. AM broadcast frequency is about 1 million cycles per second. For example, when you tune in to your favorite AM radio station at 630 on the dial, the radio is tuning to the radio wave with the frequency of 630,000 cycles per second. On the other hand, FM radio operates on 100 million cycles per second, so when you turn to 101.1 FM, your radio is tuning to 101 million cycles per second frequency. Radio waves have the following characteristics not line of sight, can pass through walls, longer range, not light sensitive. Some disadvantages of radio frequencies include, first, communication devices that make use of the same frequencies interfere with their transmission. Two, it is easier to eavesdrop since signals are transmitted in space rather than a wire. And number three, more costly than infrared. We know for a fact that radio waves travel in straight line. Why then are we able to receive messages or information from other parts of the world? Now let's discuss microwaves. Microwaves have smaller wavelengths than radio waves and can penetrate the atmosphere of the Earth. This wave is commonly used in satellite communications, radar, television transmission, and cooking. One layer of the atmosphere is composed of ionized gases. This layer is called ionosphere. The high-frequency waves penetrate into the ionosphere and to the space. Therefore, communication satellites are used to reflect these waves back to Earth, which are then captured by the receiving antennas. Communication satellites travel around the Earth at an altitude of 35,000 kilometers above the equator. 
They move at a speed of 11,300 kilometers per hour and revolve around the Earth every 24 hours, the same rate as the rotation of the Earth. This makes them appear stationary. Antennae are mounted to point on fixed directions towards these satellites. Microwaves can penetrate the atmosphere of the Earth. This is the reason why they are used for satellite communications. Microwave signals are retransmitted by an antenna to a satellite which amplifies and retransmits the signal to an antenna in other parts of the world. This is how we communicate with the rest of the world. Most communication satellites are used to send and receive radio signals for telephone services while the rest are for television broadcasting, scientific research, and weather forecast. Since microwaves have short wavelengths and are reflected by small objects, this property is used in radars. Radar is an acronym of radio detection and ranging. A radar system consists of an antenna, transmitter, and a receiver. An antenna whirls around continuously to scan the surrounding area. The transmitter sends out a narrow beam of microwaves in short pulses and a distant object reflects some of the signal back to the receiver. The direction to which the signal was received gives the direction of the object. The distance of the object can be calculated from the time lag between the transmitted pulse and the reflected pulse. Do you notice that a lot of people now resort to cable TV for news, entertainment, and educational programs? Cable TV is now used because of its wide range of channels and clearer sound and picture. How does this work? Microwaves are used to transmit television news coverage from mobile broadcast vehicles back to the station. The news crew can also set up a small antenna to send signals to a communication satellite. This is how news are broadcasted and watched live around the world. A cell phone is a radio transmitter and receiver that uses microwaves. Cellular phone is a very sophisticated radio but is still a radio. It is today's answer to the emerging demand for mobile communication. Cellular phones depend on overlapping network of cells or areas of land several kilometers in diameter. Each cell has its tower that receives and sends microwave signals. Microwave is also used in cooking like the microwave oven. In a microwave oven, foods absorb certain microwave frequencies very strongly. The microwaves penetrate the food being heated. It will agitate the water molecules within the food, thus creating molecular friction which then produces heat that will cook it. And that's all for this week. Thank you for watching. Kick. Hey. Hey.